Arr, let's make a graph. Okay, so we've got data from our greenhouse effect lab, and we want to turn it into a scatter plot so that we can see how the temperature in the bottle that was our control compares to the temperature in the bottle that we added carbon dioxide to. To do this, we're going to click on the box that says time here, and we're going to highlight the three titles here on the columns and all the numbers below it. Notice that I'm not including that temperature degrees C box up there. We don't need that on our graph. So I'm scrolling down, highlighting all the data that we took. Then I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to go to scatter plot here and choose the first one. Now we have a pretty nice graph already here. We've got two sets of points on here. We've got the temperature for our control bottle, and we can see how that changes over time. It's going up. We can also see how the temperature changes in our carbon dioxide bottle. In my example, that's also going up. Your data probably looks different. It might look similar, though. Now, this graph is missing a couple things. It doesn't have a title yet. Let's give it a main title, and let's use our question from our OneNote. So I've just copied that, and I'm going to paste it in here. How does a greenhouse gas, such as CO2, affect temperature? We also need axis titles. So we click on the plus, and we check axis titles. The y-axis here, these numbers, Oops, let's move that back up. Sometimes it's hard to type vertically. Okay, so we want this to be temperature in degrees Celsius. And our x-axis is going to be time in minutes. So now we can see that the temperature for both bottles was going up as time went on. Let's also add trend lines to these data sets. And we can add trend lines to each of them separately. How you do that is you click on the plus, and I'm going to go and click on the little arrow for trend line here and choose linear and it asks me which set of points do I want to put that trend line on. I'm going to choose control. But then I also, so you can barely see it, there's a trend line there on the control points. We're also going to do that again. We're going to go to linear again, and we're going to add one on CO2. Now we've got two, two trend lines on there. Now we've got a nice graph. Looks great. Can you do it now? Ah.